I'm Rachel Hazel of The Travelling Bookbinder. Notes on measuring and marking for bookbinding. Bookbinders are notoriously neat and particular. My approach as a book artist is to teach the skills and then encourage you to fly with them. Precision helps a book to function well, so yes, there are some things that you need to be exact. If you know how to do it right, then you can play with subverting the rules later, if you want. Let's start with measuring. Choose to use a metal ruler, and if you get to be picky, go for a chrome-plated one. Plastic rulers are just too soft and floppy. Your sharp scalpel blade will shave off an infinitesimal slither every time you make a cut. And that's not going to end up being very precise, is it? Ideally, your ruler will be longer than the material you're working with, so that you don't have to reposition it to cut a whole length. Students of my in-person workshops know that I favour a mechanical pencil, also known as a propeller pencil. They know what it is, but hadn't thought about what it was called. Anyway, they are the absolute best pencil to use for marking hole positions and where to cut. You'll understand why when you compare it with the random thicknesses of standard pencil marks. Your thumbnail is an excellent tool to mark the place where a crease will be made, as you can physically feel the spot when folding and you can confidently use the squareness of the paper to line up the fold. Very handy. Your nail or needle makes a tiny indent for the scalpel blade, which naturally finds the groove, which marks the start and finish of the cut. I'm happy to use the grid lines on a cutting mat, but for super accurate measuring, use a metal square and several rulers. A pair of dividers are ace for multiple measurements, such as cutting a set of boards all the same size for a limited edition. The sharp point creates a narrow indent, so you can easily reposition the dividers for the next measurement. And that groove also helps to set the ruler and scalpel in precisely the right place before you make the cut. 